What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with season four of T-Mobile Bianchi here on PCM and guys, I cannot tell you how excited I am to attack this season. And just to recap, look at our squads we have built. We have Pippo Ganna, Maxi Shackman, Nizzolo, a world-class sprinter is now here, 34 years old. Gino Marda returns to the team after leaving for Group Palmer FDJ in season one. Samuel Battistella, a great well-rounded rider right there, I think. Also Tobias Bayer, a very talented young puncher. Demarki, another veteran we've signed. Um, and yeah, it's just a really class transfer window. I've probably missed someone, but I am so pumped. Of course, how could I forget the shark? El Squalo, Vincenzo Nibali as well. 38 years old, he is now here. But you may have noticed already, that is not all that is new this season. Big thanks to Tom at GTR. I'll leave a link to his showroom in the description or the comments below. He has designed our new season four jersey inspired by the retro T-Mobile jersey. I love this kind of pink design. Really, really love it. Big thanks to Tom. What do you guys think? Let me know how much out of 10 you'd rate our jersey. That is not all that is new in the world of cycling though. We've had a few sponsor changes in the off season. I can't quite remember exactly who has changed to who, but if we take a look, AG2R Citroen have now become Alpine Racing following suits with the F1 team. Really nice jersey as well. We also have Legion of LA. They have taken over um, at Mitchelton Scots. I really love their jersey. Really, really nice design. And they're now a World Tour team. We also have Mini Castrol who have taken over Sunweb Alliance. So Mini Castrol, a real powerhouse now in the world of cycling. I think they're led by the likes of Jakob Fulsang. And the final new team coming up to the World Tour. You may remember that Alperson Phoenix were promoted to World Tour. They did lose Matthew Vanderpool, but they did sign Adam Yates. And that is with the funding of Vu Belafast. A, a really kind of nice jersey design. Really like it. I think a Belgian sponsor again. Uh, but yeah, some really nice new jerseys and new sponsors in the world of cycling. And I'll show you this screen as well. We have a whole host of new jerseys for the existing teams as well. Spotify is still here. Um, NTT Patagonia, I love that jersey. Lotto Solve as well. Um, a new sponsor to partner, Lotto Sudal right there. And you can see for yourself, um, it really has changed the look and the landscape in the world of cycling since we started. So I will recap just the squads very briefly. We have the likes of Bardet for Alpecin. You can see right here, um, I'll scroll through very quickly. Pause on any team if you wish to see uh, the World Tour teams and lineups, official lineups now for 20 23. Really, I'm so excited about this season. Now, I have played the Santos Tour Down Under off camera. I wasn't really interested in the race, to be fair. So, we will start our season today in Mallorca. And I want to shout out Emre99. He is a real class stage maker in the PCM community. He has designed the 2021 routes right here. And we are going to use them. Really fun stages. Um, and I cannot wait to try these out. Hopefully, should be a fun start to our season. Some of my favourite races, really. Um, I think they're really underrated. Every one of these races in Spain is really exciting. So a fairly short one today, but hopefully it's going to set us up really nicely for the season ahead. So Tour Down Under very quickly. Magnus Court took the win. Van Aert was second. Brenner was third for us. He was our leader at that race. And he did win, actually, on Willunga Hill on stage six. Wasn't enough to take the GC. Zabel got a win as well, uh, but a solid start to our season. I do want to quickly show you the planner as well. I have gone through and done just the start of the season, really. I'm not quite sure on the Grand Tour teams. Again, if you have any suggestions on riders you'd like to see go to specific Grand Tours and maybe a full Grand Tour lineup later in the year, let me know because I'm still trying to work it out because... We have so much strength and depth this year. I am, I'm so excited for this season, I can't tell you. We do have some fairly sad news as well before kicking off this season. Chris Room, age 37, finally is going to retire. He's still with Ineos here. Um, you can see he has regressed a fair amount, hasn't he, since we started the save. Kicking our season off here in Mallorca, we are led 
by Maxi Shackman making his debut for the team alongside Gino Marza, Matteo Fabro, Georg Zimmerman, Bayer, another debutant alongside Demarki, who also debuts today with the Milano San Remo winner from last season, Alessandro Covey. I did as well forget to say, guys, a massive shout out to all of the jersey makers over on La Gruppesso. I will leave a link in the description below. Some incredible fantasy jerseys there. But guys, get a look at this. The new T-Mobile Bianchi jersey. Uh, a, a really pink design, obviously, compared to the previous um, editions of the jersey. I love it. I really do. Shackman as well in the team. This is going to be such a fun season. We do have some new jerseys as well to look out for this year. Not all the World Tour teams are here. You can see McNulty for the Koenig right there. Jorgensen as well, the American champion. Um, you'll, you'll see them throughout the year, I guess. There won't be too many on show here today, but especially in the next episode when we head to the UAE, you can get a real look at all of the new jerseys. And looking quickly at the start list, we do have McNulty leading uh, De Koenig. Not too many World Tour teams here. Jorgensen, a great rider now for Movistar, like I mentioned. You can see the other leaders. I think Shackman, despite this minus one day, should be the big favourite today. I am getting in the breakaway as well with Alessandro Zamaki doing what he does best here in his T-Mobile Bianchi debut. You can see this group, 13 riders up the roads. So Matteo Fabro has fallen here, and I do think he's going to struggle to get back in. No real other favourites are in this group, so um, I think we could be without Matteo Fabro for the rest of this one. So right now we're doing a great job whittling this field down. We have 21 riders at the front. Zamaki, who has dropped back, a satellite rider, as Benji Narsen would call him. Uh, I was discussing that term with him today who has gone in the breakaway and dropped back later on to help his team. Perfect example right there. Demark is doing that beautifully for us today, able to help us out quite a lot with pulling now, really making this a select race early on, which is exactly what we want as we have plenty of strength and depth. So I don't think any of these drop riders are coming back on today. Marder has now gone to the front. He's going to put in a big acceleration on this final little climb for a little while. Zamaki and Baya are going to be dropped here. Let's see if we can drop anyone else. We can drop at least one more riser. Let's see by the top if we can drop any more riders. Marder pushing it to 95 right now. He can relay on the front at maybe 60. We have 15 at the front and I think it's time to try some attacks. It seems we're not actually going to have to do that ourselves because Matteo Jorgensen trying something in this descent right now. We're going to follow and try and follow with all of our riders if we can. Let's see how this plays out. So that has actually created some separation. We do have six riders who have been dropped in this descent. So we can now push on with Gino Marza. We have the strength and depth here in this race. So he can go to 92, try and sustain this gap for the remainder of the race. And really that attack by Matteo Jorgensen unexpectedly has put six riders, almost half of that group, out of contention. We now have 33% of the front of the race. Still a gap is here and we are seeing some attacks now go off in the front group. Jan Tratnik doing a great ride here. Not the best and punchiest rider, I guess, on the hills, but doing a good job today. We can try and counter that now with Gino Marza. He can go on the attack. We can try and follow any moves here with the likes of Shackman and Covey. Let's see if Marder can sustain this gap, but Aula is coming across. We're going to have to try and react here. Just follow him with Shackman and we should be good as Marder is away with Jan Tratnik. Not sure how good this move is for us, but we're not going to chase it down, that's for sure. Let's see if Marder and Tratnik can get away here. And of course, this now means the likes of McNulty, Serrano, Aula and Jorgensen are going to have to do all of the chasing in this group behind. While Shackman and Covey, they can just sit in. As we now actually do have a couple uh, a couple of extra riders coming back on. But the situation is now changing as Marder is struggling to hold the wheel of Jan Tratnik. So we're now going to have to tempo really hard with Shackman. Let's go to 99. I may even try and attack with Shackman here. Actually, let's try and keep Covey. Try and work together. Try and really push it over the top of that climb. Now Covey can do some pulling for Shackman maybe. I think we'll sit up with Marder because Tratnik is gone for the win right now. We need to use our strength and depth. So we have now caught Marder, Covey and Shackman on the wheel of their teammates here. Marder is going to give up all his chances right now, I feel. We may even do the same with Covey because I'm worried that Tratnik has gone for the win right now as now Covey even is struggling. 20 seconds to Tratnik. I think we can cover that right now if we attack 
with Maxi Shackman. Let's try and get to his will. Hopefully, Kovi can stay here. Going to be difficult for him, though. So it's a really, really brilliant punchy attack by Shackman. He has got to Jan Tratnik's wheel. We still have Kovi here. Marder is just about holding on as well. It's a crazy opener to our season today. But Shackman now looking pretty good on the wheel of Jan Tratnik. Can we even go over the top here? In the descent with Maxi Shackman. We're going to try and Shackman has gone. 9k to go. Can he hold this to the line? Going to be very difficult whilst Kovi sits in the wheels. Further back, Marda is done for the day. Al Arendina are not going to catch the front group. But I think Shackman may be caught right here. Maybe worth sitting up. So 5k to go. Really not sure what to do because Shackman is struggling. We are approaching a downhill though. If we can get there with the German, we uh, we will be in a perfect position. Kovi is trying to recover. He's really struggling to do that though. 3K to go. I think Shackman may have a win on debut here for Timo Barbianchi. He has a 20 second gap into the final 2K right now. Maxi Shackman should, if he stays on his bike, win here in Mallorca. A beautiful win to start our season. Let's sprint with him just to make sure these guys behind don't catch us and Shackman is going to win. A beautiful win there by the German to kick off his career as a team mobile rider. Tratnik gave it a great go today. He will finish seconds. What a race to kick off our season here in Mallorca. Let's go again, see if we can make it two in a row. So next up, we have a more mountainous stage, really. Um, a hilly finish and punchy finish though. So we'll hold on and really try and light up the race later on. So 60k to go. And to my surprise, the breakaway have gained a five minute lead. They're not particularly dangerous, but there are some capable cyclists here. So we do need to close this down. By the way, similar lineup today, but Mari van Savenen, who really has developed like real life, it seems he is as well, uh, could well be a big, big danger in this one. Monster turn on the front by our new signing Tobias Bayer here. He has been literally on the front with Demarkey from the bottom of this climb to this point. He is now done though for the day. Our guys are feeling this right now. We still have over two minutes to the breakaway. So Kovi and Matteo Fabre, two very capable riders, are now done. Georg Zimmerman trying to take over, but that breakaway could well have this one today. We need to continue working together with Zimmerman, Marder, and Shackman. Let's try and take these guys over this climb um, and get this gap below one minute. Then maybe we have a chance, but now Georg Zimmerman even is struggling. Marza is going to have to take over on the front here. Uh, we have 36 in this group and maybe we have to rely on De Koenig as now even Gino Marda is struggling. We're going to have to stay sat in with Maxi Shackman and see if we can make it over the top in this group. The state of this race right now, 26 riders left from the peloton. Up the road, a few guys from the early breakaway have been dropped, but five riders at the front. You can see them here. They look set to contend for this one. I mean, Soto has 62 mounts in and we may let him win this race. But Gino Marza, a very good sender, is going to really try and bring us back into contention. Following the descent and nine kids go, Gino Marza has been attacking this downhill, I can assure you. And actually, Georg Zimmerman now looks like our favourite from our team. We need to go right now, though. There are the guys at the front. We're catching a couple riders from the earlier breakaway. Gino Marza needs to absolutely hammer this climb. So does Maxi Shackman as well as Marder starts to struggle. Let's go 99 here. I am worried that we have lost this race already. But let's go 99 with Maxi Shackman. We are working really for Georg Zimmerman right now as he gets blocked off by Gino. Love to see that, of course, as always, PCM. But 5k to go. We are struggling to catch these guys. They're not far up the roads, but we could well be done here. So instead, I'm going to follow Biniam Gamay with Zimmerman. Shackman is on the wheel of Brandon McNulty. We have 30 seconds up to the guys at the front. And like I said, I'm pretty sure they have this win at this stage. Gutting stuff for us to lose to the early breakaway. We were the only ones relaying, I mean, at the front. And it's too late now for the rest of the guys, for sure. Shackman, get in the wheel of Georg Zimmerman. If you can, give us one last chance into the final kilometre. But up the road, let's see who takes the win. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be any of our guys. And Soto, 62 mounts in, wins this, this race. I mean, <laughs> crazy stuff. And we will probably win from the group behind Classic. So today, we need to make up for that and give Shackman or someone else on our team a second win of the season, at least from what we've played on camera. Plenty of hills. And I think the same climb we had yesterday, maybe the same descent, I think. 
not quite sure, and then a very difficult hill in the final. All of these races are raced on really the same roads, just kind of different ways and different directions, but we'll see what we can do later on. I'll probably see you for some of these hills or the main climb. And I can tell you up in the breakaway, again, we do have Soto and I can assure you we are not giving him as much room as we did last time. As we approach the major climb today then, you can see we've taken no such risks again with the breakaway having a 30 seconds gap today. I've really been pacing hard with Bayer, another great job by him. Let's make it a difficult climb now as Team UAE in their new kind of red jersey are going to also try and make this difficult. So we have made this a fairly difficult climb so far. Still though, 63 riders are in this group. I'm not too happy with that. I may try and use up Juno Marta as well as Zimmerman and really try and get this well below 50 riders, hopefully towards 20 or 30 riders by the top. Fairly good job then, 29 riders are here. I think Fabro and Mars are probably going to be domestiques for Shackman today. He's on such a good day and that final hill really, really suits him. Okay then, coming into the final today, we have seven and a half K to go. The final climb is three and a half K, average of 7% with um, one pitch over 10%, so it is going to be a difficult climb here. Let's try and come in right on the front, Marda. We can use him trying to do that. Let's even put him to 88 right now, and as soon as we hit this climb, we're going to hammer it. So great job by the returning Gino Marda. He can probably go up to 95 to start this climb, I think. We'll try and make it difficult from the start. Make sure no attacks can go off. I think Shackman should be okay at this tempo just to start. He is losing some red though, not ideal right there, but we are in, of course, the perfect position. Let's go with Fabro right now as Marda is done for the day. We have 2K to go. Shackman sprints really should decide this one, I feel. Let's finally go up to 93 with Fabro. 95 into this final kilometer, 99 with Matteo Fabro. Shackman still on the wheel of his Italian teammate. We're holding off. For as long as we can here, Shackman trying to go for the line. I think it could even be a 1-2 here. Wow, that was quite easy in the end. Shackman wins the race and Fabro trying to hold on for the 1-2. I think we will get it as well. Just about ahead of Fancello. Love to see it. Great race for us today. Shackman, a different world. Great job by Maxi and the boys today. Now it's time to take a look at Giacomo Nizzolo. So a flatter one today, a chance for the sprinters and Giacomo Nizzolo making his debut for the team today. I am a real fan of this rider and hopefully we can get off to a winning start. Looking at the start list here, it's not the strongest. We are the best sprinter on paper, but there are some fairly good sprinters here. Barbier, Hal Vorsen, Guandariensen, Laporte. I mean, it's a fairly strong field, but hopefully we can win. Similar issue here though, in the fact that no one else is relaying with us in the peloton. So Byron Zamaki really going to have to go deep to try and bring this 10 man group in. They have three minutes currently, only 30K to go and not a lot of climbing. But now 16K to go, I think this one will be for the sprinters, but we have been forced so far back in this group. It's a bit of a nightmare, really. I am going to use Marder to protect uh, Nizzolo like that. We'll try and set our own rhythm with Giacomo over this climb. We should be fine here. I think pretty much all the sprinters should be okay. And the breakaway still have a lead over the top as Laporte is on the front, by the way. Strange decision. I guess Buda is their leader today. But let's keep this pace going because the break are not caught just yet. Okay, so 11k to go. 80 riders are still in this group. Fabro is going to try and descends like a demon right now. The breakaways still are up the road. It's not ideal with a descent right now. Let's even try and attack with Marder and Fabro just to try and bridge this little gap to that annoying breakaway. So 5k to go. I think the breakaway again are going to steal this one, guys. It really is so frustrating there, right there. We've had no help from any teams today. Let's try and even attack now with Zimmerman. Try and put Kovi, Marda, Nizzolo, anyone in a good position right now. 3k to go. The breakaway are just up the roads. We'll go with Kovi even. Marda on his wheel. The breakaway have been caught. Nizzolo is so far out of position. No idea what's going on. Kovi going for the win. And Kovi may have got the jump on everyone here. With Nizzolo finishing fast. It's the messiest finish I have ever seen. But somehow, Giacomo Nizzolo is going to win on debut for Timo Barbianchi. That was the weirdest finish I have ever seen. Breakaway court in the end. Just in time. So we have made it to Australia somehow for the Cadell Evans Great Ocean Road Race. I thought, why not? We'll show you one more race right here. We can see some more jerseys as well. 
if nothing else. Really poor form for Rick Zabel, um, or really our team in general. Zabel's on decent form, and so is Jonas Ruch. I think Wout van Aert is the big favourite today. Let's see how we get on. 20k to go then here in Australia. We're just trying to hold on with Zabel really today. We have seen a few more attacks. Daniel Oss trying something, but I think our best tactic really is to ride for Zabel. I think we're now coming into the final circuit. Still over 100 and or 130 riders are at the front. Here we go then. Eve Lampert on the attack with 14k to go. Babato is now done. Rutsch going to try and control this with Nils Pollitt on the attack as well. And I think we can try and bring these guys in, which we do pretty instantly. To be fair, Zabel is really, really feeling this pace though, um, as we do have the favourite Van Aert. Caleb Ewan here as well. Rob Stannard, a very good rider. Michael Matthews, plenty of riders here in Australia for the KZL Evans Great Ocean Road Race. I think we can use our gels as we need to control again here with Rutsch Lampert trying again. Narsen on the attack for Alpine now in their new blue jersey. Stoven as well following for De Koenig. They have too many options in this save like they do in real life. But 8k to go now. Let's try and set a tempo on this climb that Zabul can maintain. But I think we may be going for Samuel Battistella by the end of this one. But we have caught those guys. We can slow it down just a little bit. We still have Caleb Ewan here, which isn't ideal, of course. I don't think we're going to beat him in a sprint, but I think we need to try and ride for Zabal. So with 5k to go, I have slowed it down a little with Rutsch. Our backup is Batistella today. If Zabal cannot make it to the line due to his energy, we will go with Batistella. And we are going to now have to up the rhythm as Fideli on the attack. I think for the Ineos Grenadiers in their new burgundy jersey here we go up to 99 with Rutsch will go with Brenner now and Batistella into the final kilometer with Zabel on his wheel who can take it Van Aert Caleb Ewan going for the line and Wout Van Aert the favorite is going to win ahead of Caleb Ewan Batistella gets a good podium position here not a bad result but those two riders really untouchable for us today so guys that round out the opening episode of season four here with t-mobile bianchi i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you smash that like button drop a sub on the channel as well if you're new we have the ue tour and omloop and kerna coming up in the next one i cannot wait for those races really am so excited for this season and i hope you guys are too i'll see you guys in the next one